All right, so we all know Pretty Hair loves to do a show called This Week in Rogue Company where he goes over all the upcoming balancing changes and where he shows off all the new features coming to Rogue Company in the next update. However, ever since this show was created, time and time again, the Rogue Company team put little easter eggs in the background for all of us to uncover and solve like we're out here playing COD zombies and shit. <laughs> what did he say? <laughs> I mean, they would seriously put on release character concept art on the wall right next to where Pretty Hair would film the show, and they even gave us sneak peeks at the on release Gambit system, but they didn't even they didn't even acknowledge it. All they did was have it as background gameplay. Well, the Rogue Company team is at it again, but this time they had a whole shitload of Easter eggs. I'm talking, they straight up showed the on release weapon mastery system and even two on release rogues. Remember, see. Season 3 has been confirmed to be releasing a new rogue, but now we know they're releasing another rogue pretty damn soon. Yeah, they're out here spoiling even season 4, dog. <laughs> Come on, pretty hair. Did you really think I wouldn't catch all the shit you planted in the background? Come on, my guy. I'm the dude that took blurred pictures from the background of Rogue Company videos, put them bitch into Photoshop, and unblurred them. Yeah, I'm not new to this. <laughs> So that's right, I'm gonna be breaking down every single easter egg they decide to hide in the background of this video. I'll be completely going over how this weapon mastery system will work and everything we can gather about those two mystery rogues. Bro, this is not real, dog. Now hold on, hold on, before we get into today's video, I'm doing a pretty big giveaway. I'll be giving away one Little Killer Switchblade outfit, two Night Sky Dahlia skins, and also a Neon, um, Synapsis primary weapon wrap. Is that, is that how you pronounce that? Look, I'm giving it away, and all you have to do is like this video, subscribe, turn notifications on, and comment down below which prize you want with the best place for me to contact you preferably Twitter, and look, that's it. All right, so let's start this whole thing off with how weapon mastery will work, and honestly, it's nothing like we all expected. Hey man, for a hot minute, we all thought weapon mastery would give us perks for our weapons. All right, maybe I was the only one who thought that. <clears throat> I'll admit it. <laughs> man, shut your bitch. So in this video, we actually got to see two different weapons in their own weapon mastery screens, the Arbitrator and the Striker. Now, if you take a close look at the bottom of both of their screens, we got four different challenges, which they are calling Milestones. Now, it also seems as though each milestone has four challenges within itself that we will be able to grind towards. Now look, off the bat, I'm all in. I love the idea of having to complete specific challenges to unlock rewards. However, what rewards are we talking about here? Are we talking skins, bullet tracers, new animations? Look, my guy, what's the deal? So if you actually look to the top right, we see next unlock, and that is clearly a weapon wrap. However, right below it, you see it costs 5 mastery points to unlock it. Now, if you were to take your eyeballs and look down, you'll see each challenge has the same icon as mastery points, and it seems like each one is worth exactly 7 points. Now, what I'm getting at here is that it's looking like you can do whatever challenge you want to unlock mastery points, and then use those points to unlock the next reward. And also, it's looking like each gun has their own exclusive rewards. Now, hear me out. Now, on the top top right where we see next unlock we also see view striker rewards now if this was a weapon wrap where we can put on any gun why in the fuck would it specifically say striker rewards that don't make any goddamn sense look i'm just saying i wonder if all these rewards are exclusive to just the striker or maybe exclusive to just shotguns look i'm not exactly sure but i can almost guarantee you we will find out soon enough now moving on, I'm assuming that once you complete, let's say, down 40 enemies with hip fire, that challenge will then go away and you'll get a new one in its place, up to 3 challenges. And as you continue to complete them, the amount of mastery points that each one is worth will also increase, simply because I did some big brain math. So here are my big brain calculations. So if all 21 challenges are worth only 7 points, that only adds up to 84. Yeah, that's right, I know how to count with my fingers. <laughs> 
However, in the arbitrator screen, we see the next unlock cost 100 mastery points. So that would mean some challenges would have to be worth more than the others. I mean, I think my theory is pretty rock solid. Now last up for how the weapon mastery works, let's answer the question, can you unlock this shotgun for any rogue who has a shotgun in their original loadout? Now if you remember way back when weapon mastery was first leaked, it was said that when you reach level 1 for any primary weapon, then you would unlock that gun for every rogue who has that type of gun in their class. But we don't see any level system anywhere, and even in the bottom left hand side, they show specifically which rogue can use this shotgun. So I'm, look, I'm thinking they just threw out that whole idea right out the window. But hey, let me know what you think about Weapon Mastery. Are you happy with it? Are you disappointed? And there are some questions to be had, so we don't really know everything that goes into this system, so there might be some curveballs coming up. Look, I think it's still up in the air if I'm all down for it, but as of right now, I'm pretty optimistic. I love the idea of having to unlock, you know, specific challenges and rewards and skins so it's looking pretty damn good in my eyes but let me know what you think now let's move on and get into those mystery rogues they just threw in the background thinking that i really wouldn't notice i mean the disrespect <laughs> So first up, actually in the striker weapon mastery screen, we see in the bottom left hand side where it says which rogues use this shotgun, we of course see Lancer, but also a green figure that's obviously been redacted. Oh, but that's not all because we get a scene where Switchblade is jumping down to the arena, but we get not one, but two different rogues on her team that have been colored out. Now I don't know if I'm tripping, but the other rogue that was next to Lancer, uh, that figure was colored green, but the these two figures, they're colored red and blue, so does that mean we're seeing three different rogues? Look, I don't know, it's looking like it though. Now I did manage to get a good shot of who these rogues are that are jumping with Switchblade. So on the right hand side, I'm pretty sure that's Runway, I mean you see the slick back white hair and the trench coat that we've seen her wear in the Rogue Company Season 3 background, however on the left where we see a question mark and you know the name rusty uh, to me that just looks like the that looks like Chack. I, I mean that literally looks like the Chack skin i mean come on who else would that be but hey maybe i'm wrong let me know what you think down below maybe you can grab a better screenshot than me and you know you might convince me that that really is a complete different rogue <clears throat> Look, uh, it's a long shot though, because I'm convinced that that's chalk. But look, that is it for today's video. I really do hope you enjoy. And look, if you made it this far into the video, I'm just letting you know, another video is coming out pretty soon. So look forward to that. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.